This week's adventure is an exciting one. I'm going on a week long road trip in a camper van and anybody who knows me knows that I really, really want to do van life at some stage in my life. So this is going to be a good taster to see if I like it. Um, the plan was to go up the north coast, but Ireland being Ireland, the weather isn't great. So we're actually going to start the road trip in the Mourne Mountains and then make our way up the coast. We are with Bunk Campers is the name of the camper van company that we have the van with. And yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to bring you around. Can't wait to show you what we get up to and what it's like being in a van for a week in Ireland. So we've made it to Newcastle, which is like this town at the Mourns. Um, and we're gonna get a bite to eat before we decide whether to hike or not because the weather is still hit or miss. So we're not 100% sure what we're doing. We'll definitely go somewhere pretty within the mornings, which is all you really want, isn't it? Two and a half hours away from here, but it's just always here. His instruction was to go get donuts, so. Right, moment of truth. This is the donut shop. Black box donuts. I'm not gonna lie. That's usually us. Started. We've upgraded this week. <laughs> Started from the bottom. Look at us now. <laughs> yeah, it's massive there. It's Kevin getting our electric hook up set for the night. This is where we're staying for the night. It's called Tullymore. Yeah. Tullymore? Tullymore? So the camper van was like. I think it's like 19 pounds for the night. And we get an electricity hookup. Which basically means we can just charge all our stuff because the van does run with like lights and stuff like that for three days without needing this. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. So this is the van here and it's actually much bigger than you would think, especially for like driving it. There's loads of like height restrictions that we didn't know, but uh, it's all part of fun of kind of driving it around and kind of learning as you go. So this is the inside of the van. This is the cab, which is kind of like your standard car. It has everything you need, you have charging ports, Bluetooth, fantastic. This is the table and Kevin who kindly invited me on this trip. Very Thank grateful guys. for that. <laughs> And then here you have the kitchen, which you have your gas and your sink and all your storage for like your pots and pans and they kind of click forward so that you don't have to worry when you're driving that anything's going to open. And then you got your bathroom. Spoiler alert, Kevin peed in the dark last night because he didn't know there was a light. And you have a toilet here. And then this hooks up as your shower. So convenient, honestly. I'll get that back in, I'll sort that out in a minute. And then we have our fridge, nice and handy dandy. You have more storage, storage up here. Lovely bed, with a view. What more could you ask for? So the place we're camping tonight is Tullymore Park. Um, so we're gonna go for a little stroll around and just kind of check out the beautiful scenery. We're gonna head up the mountains, but it's really, really cloudy and they're literally just covered in clouds. So the visibility is really poor. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is here because it is class. So we've just been walking about and we came to these little stepping stones in Tullymore Forest. And it's a really good place to go if you're kind of in the Moran area, but you don't wanna like walk up too high or do anything too strenuous. Cause it's nice and peaceful here. It's nice and easy. You don't really have to worry about much. So yeah, it's a good spot to check out when you're in this area. So we've made it back into the camper van. Um, we had quick showers, 
and now it's time for dinner <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how it goes we literally just got pasta kevin saw this thing on tiktok and he was like let's try that I'm if not we have donuts i'm a great cook by the way are you yeah dinner on kevin's so. I've had a little try and he said that it's spicy. This is my first little taste, so I'll let you know. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice, but it's spicy. Oh. Like. I've actually been on the road for three days now, um, but we've had a lot of work to do. And now we are starting our real road trip up in Mizzen and Temple in Kenji Derry. And I'm really excited because I actually haven't been to this part of the Causeway Coast before. I normally do those kind of typical spots like the Giant's Causeway, Cardinary. So I'll be excited to see this and I cannot wait to bring you along with me. So we're just heading up to the old house remains and then we'll head down to the temple. Um, but so far, I'm loving it. It's very pretty. It's pretty cool that like they built stuff like this back in the day. Like, I like this place, it's quite peaceful and it's a nice little stroll, um, nothing too strenuous. I feel like it's a spot that people skip on the Causeway Coast because it's just that little bit further up, but it's worth a visit. Like, it's... What do you think about it here? No comment? Not even a moo? No? Okay. Bye! Look at this view! See, Ireland can be beautiful even on a dull day. Wow. We're literally just at the temple. So we're... <laughs> we keep forgetting to secure the water bottles, so they just keep <laughs> rolling around. Anyway, so we're done at Muslim Temple now and we're just heading for a bite to eat. Because it looks like it's gonna lash rain in true Irish fashion. Shite weather. <laughs> Look at that sky. Uh, we might be defeated. So we're at Port Rush with this beautiful rain and we're gonna run. Let's go. Ready? Thanks for already. Sorry. We're soaking. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. So we got our food, we survived the rain. We're a little bit wet, but we got our food from this restaurant called Kraken in Port Rush, and the food is cracking. Oh God, that's bad. <laughs> so it is a beautiful morning today. The weather has taken a big turn and we are really excited about it because we haven't had the best weather on this trip. So the first stop is this viewpoint off the Causeway Coast. I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but I'll leave it here to let you know. in the process. Oh, you're not a makeup guy. Yeah. <laughs> day is the Giants Causeway. It's £13.50 to go in per person um, and that's access to the visitor centre and get headsets. Um, we don't really, we don't want the headsets or anything so we're actually parking in this little car park literally a minute down the road um, and it was only £5 for the camper too but for a car, for a camper, anything. So even if you have five people with you it's still only £5. Um, so 
So the theme of this road trip continues. We stopped to get food before we go into the causeway. Um, and we went to, do you know how to pronounce it? Mini Mansion? I'll leave it here. I'll leave the name here. Um, but oh my. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this. We actually came back into the camper because it's freezing outside and it was just too cold. So we're just heading on down to the causeway now. We're just like coming up to the grounds. And we walked in from the five year car park that we were at. It's like literally like a one minute walk down and um, you can just walk through to the right. As you see the visitor center, if you just turn right and then just walk through the little archway and yeah, you're in the center, you're in the causeway, so. So we're on the main part of the causeway now. Um, and the last time I was here, it was really, really calm. It was a really calm day, there wasn't much waves and the waves today are insane. So it's literally making all the difference. Like it's like a different experience than really fell there. It's like a different experience. So we're just continuing on uh, I asked what it's called, Kev said he didn't know. So we're naming it the Causeway Loop, probably is the real name. Um, we're just walking along it now, it doesn't take too long. It's not too strenuous, but I'll look at these, wait, I'll show you now. Um, this is the cool part of it. Are you the giant to build the Causeway? You look kind of tiny. <laughs> look at that though. Pretty cool. And then this is the view here. Nice, got to keep going. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Giant's Causeway and kind of the story behind it. So basically there was this giant, legend tells it, that there's this giant called Fimikul and he lived at the causeway and he was in a fight with a giant from Scotland and he started like throwing the rocks across to Scotland so that he could reach the other giants so that they could have a fight. Um, and then when he got over, the giant from Scotland was much bigger um, and he got scared and he ran back across the causeway and started like breaking the causeway up. So you actually have a bit in Scotland that is very similar to the giant causeway but on a much smaller scale. It's pretty cool. Me again. There's also a part of the story that I know when the giant from Scotland came and Finn McCool and his wife dressed Finn up as a baby so that the Scottish giants got scared too and they thought that like if the baby was that big he didn't know how big Finn was going to be so I'm kind of getting my stories a bit mixed up from school so I'm not 100% <laughs> which one's right but the legend went along those lines anyway I'll leave, I have a blog post on it but I wrote it a few years ago I'll leave the link in the description so you can read what actually happened <laughs> So we're just walking up the upper part here so you can see like the main trail that we came from and we're just walking up and over this kind of cliff here so that we have a downwards view of the causeway. So the part nobody wants to do, the stairs, oh. Okay so we're up over the stairs now and this is like the first view from overhead, there we go, gotta keep going on this way. Okay, so we're up the top now and I have never gone up this way. I'm always lazy and just walk straight down, straight back up the normal way. And it's really not that hard, so it's definitely worth it. And the view, like... <laughs> Stopped at Dunsever Castle. Um, it's not much, it's just like a little viewpoint on the side of the road. Um, and we're too lazy, so we're not going to walk down, we're going to continue on down the coast because there's more things that we want to show you. So we stop at this viewpoint and wait until I show you what it looks like. Wait, ready? Oh, like I could stay here all day. Man, this is paradise.
we're just heading down to the Calgaryd now, um, which is like a rope bridge. <laughs> but the thing is, we lost the keys to the van, and we're literally like looking everywhere for them. They ended up being in a press. Kevin blames me, but I blame him for leaving them lying around. Anyway, we're on our way down to the bridge now, but we gotta run because we wanna get the sunset back at that spot. Run, Forest! <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully we make it. for a millisecond to get this view and then back to power walking. We're at the bridge here now. Um, I did it a few years back. Unfortunately it's closed at the moment because of the old sea. Um, but would you cross it? I'll give you a better view of it. Leave a comment down below if you think you can go across it. That's it there and it's like dropping over the water. views then on the other side look at that we ran all the way up from the Calgary uh, in hopes to get the sunset but unfortunately it wasn't in our favour and now we're heading to try to get to like the east part of the Causeway coast to see if we can get a sunrise in the morning um, but the sky is kind of lighting up in the opposite direction so it's, it's a pretty drive it's nice So we parked up at the side of the road to try and get the sunrise. So we're just waiting for it to happen now. There's a bit of colour in the sky, so we're hopeful there is a cloud in the way, but it's gonna burn through. Um, it's beautiful here either way. What do you say? So it's optimism. sunrise that we wanted. I stayed optimistic to the end but you can see the colours, the brighter colours starting to come but it's still so peaceful here um, and it's such a nice way to wake up. Yeah it's a great end to the trip. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video, bye!